Ziggurats were temples popular in Mesopotamia and the surrounding regions from the 3rd millennium BC until the 1st millennium CE when the worship of the old Mesopotamian pantheons fell out of practice. These temples could reach 91 meters in height and were made out of tiers of mud bricks that would narrow out towards the top, kind of like a birthday or wedding cake. These tiers had a facing of oven-baked glazed bricks of many different colors, maybe indigo or blue. This facing was vital for the construction as it held in the softer or more fragile sun-baked mud bricks that fill up the base and core of the temples. At the top, it is believed that there was a shrine, maybe as Herod is described, as being a couch with a table out in front, for the patron deity to come and relax on, as these temples were built for the patron deity of the city and were believed to be their homes. Around them were complexes of buildings for the priests to work at, and it is believed that most ceremonies would have happened around them, not on these temples. The building of these temples were monumentous works and often symbolized a ruler's power. And rebuilding them was also vital as they would need rebuilding due to the nature of mud brick. Like the rebuilding of the Ziggurat of Ur by Unama to signalize his power, or the repairs of Enti Nkanki in Babylon by Cyrus or other rulers before to show their power, as like Nebuchadnezzar II even built it to show his power. And these were vital for their societies, and it is believed they originated in Uruk with the White Temple, built for the goddess Inanna, or as called in Babylon, Ishtar. Though they were such momentous buildings to build, the even Alexander the Great, when he tried to rebuild the, and repair the Inakain in Babylon, he fell. Like and subscribe.